Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see how does your person feel about you. Let's see what's currently going on with you and your person, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call in the white light that guides us. I call in the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on between my Virgos and their person. What's currently going on? We have divine timing. Guys, you, this card has been coming out a lot. Trust in the perfection of divine timing timing like for some of you guys you could be trying to rush the situation this person could be trying to rush things for some of you guys you may have not met your person as of yet you may not be with your person right now present moment your spirit guides want you to trust in divine timing show me then we have love offer is your heart open to receive my love offer? In divine timing, there is a love offer that's coming in, but will, are you open to receive it? Will you be open to re receive it? We said we have love strike. I have been swept off my feet randomly, unexpected, and amazingly. So for some of you guys, whether this be you or your person, somebody has been absolutely, I feel like it's your right now present moment, somebody has been totally totally swept off the feet and for some of you guys you're going to be receiving a love offer from this person we have deception i lied to you because i'm afraid of the choices you'll make i feel like for some of you guys somebody's lying to you but the lie that i'm getting is somebody that actually likes you somebody that actually may have feelings for you like this person there's something that they're not telling you they could actually not be telling you that they're in a relationship or married to someone else and this person, but the thing about it is this person has fallen for you. This could have been, they could have initially came with bad intent, meaning like somebody that just wanted to play. But this is giving me like somebody here getting like starting to feel some type of way, but there's some deception here. Uh, there's some deception. And then we have youthful. Let's keep our inner child ageless and maintain youthful forever. But why do I feel like for some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody here that is younger than you or somebody here that's immature. And this is somebody here that wants to keep it light. This is someone here that wants to keep it light, but only because I feel like this person, they don't want, they don't want, I, I don't know why I'm getting like, it, it's almost selfish, but it's almost like, they just don't want commitment. They just don't want something serious. They just don't want the responsibility of being in a relationship. That's what I'm getting in this person's energy, like not wanting the responsibilities of being in a relationship. Look at that damaged. Then we have waiting. Wow. These cards are just coming. Some of you guys, this person is damaged. Before you date me, understand I am a da I am damaged and I am a broken soul. So for some of you guys, this person is absolutely damaged and we have waiting. Waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. For some of you guys, you're waiting for this person or this person is waiting for you. Like somebody here is in a waiting posture. Somebody here is extremely, somebody here is waiting for someone, but you're still damaged from somebody else. Yeah. And then we have soul contract. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill. So for some of you guys, you have a mag, you have a, a a very there's a very strong bond between you and this person. And but I don't feel like it brings you right. I feel like right now, present moment, it's not bringing you peace though. 
this bond that you're feeling with this person right now present moment i'm not getting that it's bringing you peace you feel like you have a soul contract with this person you feel like this person is your soulmate for some of you guys you feel like this person is your twin flame but i feel like there's an energy here of you not really and truly feeling like you're aligned with this person right now present moment and we have regrets i regret the things i should have done but never did there's so much regrets between you and this person. And then we have sex. I'm not saying that sex is all I want, but I want your touch. So for a lot of you guys, the person that the person that you're currently dealing with, this person, they love they really and truly like having sex with you. For some of you guys, that's really and truly all this person wants. And I'm not saying that bad. I'm not saying that bad, but I'm not saying that like, you know, like I feel like if you're looking for a relationship or if you're looking for something serious, I'm not getting that in this person's energy right now, present moment. I do see that for some of you guys, there's a love offer here. For some of you guys, somebody here, they're starting to have emotions. For some of you guys, this is, you know what it's giving me? It's giving me an energy of like right now, this person can't offer you something serious, but eventually this person can offer you something serious or this person will offer you something serious because I feel like this person's emotions this person's feelings for you is going to change I feel like it's going to change but I feel like even though it's going to change it's going to shock you but I feel like it's going to shock this person as well and for some of you guys the reason why this person is the way that they are the reason is the same reason why some of you guys are the way that you are because this person's been through a lot there's a waiting posture whereas some of you guys, you're playing the waiting game with this person. Like you're waiting each other out, seeing who's going to contact the other first. There's a lot of regrets. There is a lot of regrets. For somebody here, you regret moving too fast with this person. For some of you guys, there's an energy here of you regretting moving too fast with this person. For some of you guys, you may find out or you may have found out that this person is in something else or has someone else. But this is this person actually coming clean. For some of you guys, this person may come clean. For some of you guys, something may tell you this. But that person actually has feelings for you. But this person, I feel like this person entered into this connection, entered into this relationship. Of course, I'm getting false pretenses. But they weren't expecting it to go the way that it's going or the way that it went. Like, I feel like it's like timing. Timing is off between you and this person. That's really and truly what I'm getting in that energy. Like timing is off. I do see commitment. I do see an offer of commitment that's coming in right now, present moment. It could just be casual sex. See that right now, present moment. It could just be casual sex between you and this person. But I feel like there is some, I feel like this person has feelings, but I feel like it's feelings that this person didn't expect to have. I don't feel like they expected these feelings. Show me divine timing for my Virgos. Death, Scorpio energy. In divine timing, there's going to be an ending for a transformation though. In divine timing, there's going to be a transformation in this connection. We have the seven of wands with the king of pentacles. And I feel like when this person is going to come back towards you, you're going to be standoffish. I feel like you're going to be very, you're, you're going to be totally guarded with this person. Knight of cup, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, because this person has been emotionally detached from you. This person hasn't been they're, they're, they They've been emotionally immature. This is somebody here that 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 they say one thing, but they they say one thing, but they do something else. You've been dealing with somebody here. They say one thing, but their actions show you something else. Like they may say they love you. They may say they care, but their actions tell you something so, so, so different. And it's so uh, it's so unnerving. It's so unnerving. Show me this love offer. The moon. That's what's hidden from you. What's hidden from you, strong Pisces, Cancer energy, what's hidden from you is that you do have a love offer coming in, but I feel like there's some secrets here. Ten of Pentacles telling you, for some of you guys, there's a love offer that has been given to you or that is coming to you. Ten of Pentacles, what you don't see is that what you're not seeing for some of you guys, yes, somebody could actually be married with a family. Yes, yes, there's somebody here that you could have fallen for and this person could actually be married with a family. I don't feel like you knew this instantly. I don't I don't feel like you knew this initially. For some of you guys what you don't see is that somebody actually does 
have feelings for you. Somebody does see the Ten of Pentacles with you. And somebody does want a future with you. Show me this. The wheel. Like somebody's manifesting a new life. But I feel like there's something that has come full circle here. I feel like what you don't see for some of you guys i feel like i picked that energy up for you guys earlier today whereas what you're not seeing is that there is someone here that they could be married with children someone at somewhere else and they're coming in with a love offer because something has reached its fullest potential something has come full circle and they're manifesting something new with you show me the five of pentacles king of wands and the hermit so somebody's gonna be left out in the cold is aries leo sagittarius energy and i feel like there's a loss here somebody's at a loss or somebody is losing and then i feel like this person is going to come towards you aries leo sagittarius or another virgo here like i feel like there's an energy of someone here coming towards you but i feel like you see that king of wands is somebody that's very passionate somebody that's very sensual somebody here that comes in like a boss and i feel like this person is coming towards you because i feel like there's an energy here of not wanting to lose you somebody's at a loss though somebody's definitely at a loss somebody's having to make a decision if they're what they're going to do like for some of you guys somebody could truly be choosing between you and someone else you and a whole nother lifestyle i'm getting a big energy of like you in a marriage with children like you in a whole nother lifestyle that's big energy ten of wands this person is stressed to the max about this situation like this person is so burdened by this like this person just wants to stop thinking about this. This person wants to, I just get an energy of this person wanting things to resolve itself. I feel like this person feels bad about their own feelings, their own emotions for you. I feel like this person feels bad about this, the, the posture that they're in, the situation that they're in. I feel like this person feels bad about the situation that they put themselves into. I feel like this person feels bad, like really, really bad about the situation that they put themselves into. Yeah, show me this, show me this love strike. Show me this love strike page of swords so somebody's watching page of swords is a new like new investigation newly looking into something somebody has newly somebody's realizing coming to the realization that they that they have feelings and emotions seven of pentacles but they're not sure like i feel like for some of you guys there's an energy here of either you or someone here like the judgment scorpio energy like there's an energy here of you or someone here like i have feelings for this person i have i have feelings but is it going to work itself out do i really know this person it's like somebody's investigating another person do i invest if i invest will i get a return on my and i feel like there's like a massive awakening that's happening i feel like somebody's rendering judgment show me judgment scorpio energy three of wands three of wands talks about future I feel like somebody here is plotting and planning for the future, thinking about the future, thinking about, okay, if I make this investment, if I make this decision, but somebody's at crossroads about making this decision. So somebody here has, somebody here has feelings and emotions, but they're scared of their own feelings and their emotions. They're scared of making a decision. They're scared of what can happen and, or what, like wasting their, their time show me this yeah strength leo energy with the seven of cups and the ace of swords leo energy seven of cups there's a lot of options ace of swords picking right i feel like somebody here is is seeking clarity somebody here has a decision that needs to be made somebody wants to make sure that they're making the right decision somebody whether this is you or somebody here i feel like there's an offer here somebody wants to make a love offer somebody has feelings they have emotions but like this is an energy of someone here wanting to make sure they make the right decision yeah the hangman they're seeing something for what it truly is i feel like somebody doesn't want to lose themselves in, into the other person's world the other person's arms somebody doesn't want to jeopardize one thing for the other somebody doesn't want to make a bad decision somebody doesn't want to live in regret it's like there's an energy here of somebody wishing they knew what the future held 
before making that decision. There's a big energy of that. Show me deception. We have the page of pentacles. So there's an offer here. For some of you guys, you could definitely be getting an offer of marriage. Or somebody could be married. Like somebody could be offering you love. Like somebody could be offering you something. And they could actually be married. They could actually be in a relationship with this deception. I lie to you because I'm afraid of the choices you'll make. Like somebody feels like if they tell you the truth, or this could be you as well, you're not going to be with them. You're not going to want to play with them. And like somebody here is making a choice to offer strong Libra energy. Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This person could be younger than you. But I'm definitely getting an energy like this person could truly be, yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This person is slowly moving towards you, though. They are the lovers. Still, I feel like this person is going to choose you. Still, I feel this person is like there's there's a lot of passion here. This is like giving me an energy of somebody here that is craving someone else. Like whether this be you or your person, like somebody here is craving the other person, but somebody is in something else. Show me youthful, the devil, Capricorn energy. And like somebody here is trying to get themselves out of this. Somebody's trying to, yeah, eight of pentacles. Somebody already started something they can't finish though. Somebody's already started something that they can't finish. Somebody's making it extremely hard for the other person to truly walk away from this, to truly say, to truly wash their hands with this. Big energy, like somebody doesn't want to partake in this anymore. Like if this is third party, like somebody's like, I don't want to do this anymore. But somebody's like, it's hard to resist. And somebody's in it. Somebody's definitely in it. Show me damaged. We have the emperor. I feel like this person that you're dealing with, this person is damaged. Aries energy. This person is very, this person is used to getting their way. They're used to getting their way. They're a boss. They're used to people listening to them. Nine of swords. This person stays up a lot at night. Divine timing in the nine of wands. So this person is some type of person that they're not, they're, they're not, giving up without a fight this is someone here that's used to getting their way this person is extremely damaged extremely manipulative and controlling for some of you guys you may hear from this person only at night for some of you guys like this is giving me an energy of someone here that they may not even spend the night with you and i feel like there's an, there's intervention that's happening for you for this connection we have the wounded warrior. I feel like that's your energy. I feel like this person is stressing you guys out. Like you're damaged, they're damaged. And like this is giving me an energy of you guys hoping and praying for change in this connection. Like this is definitely giving me an energy of you guys kind of like hoping and praying for change in this connection. For a lot of you guys, this damaged and broken soul is you. You stress yourself out. You keep yourself up at night. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. And for some of you guys, this could be you giving your person hell. Like, giving your person a run for their money. Big energy. Big, big energy. Show me waiting. We have the chariot. We have the five of swords. Somebody is somebody's somebody's waiting for someone to travel to them. Somebody's coming in. Somebody, Six of Swords, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This could be a younger Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you're going to be receiving some type of message, some type of communication from this person. Like somebody here, they're sorry for their behavior. They're sorry for they're sorry for the heartache and the pain. Like for some of you guys, you're waiting for this. You're waiting for this person. There's some stress. There's some anxiety. For some of you guys, this person that's coming towards you, strong strong water energy. This person, wherever they're at right now, present moment, there is an energy here of a lot of headaches, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Six of Swords coming to you is moving on to calmer waters. Somebody's coming in hot. Somebody's coming in hot. Show me this soul contract. 
Five of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups with the Ten of Cups. I feel like there is an energy here. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill. I feel like there's someone here that is emotionally distant from you. Like you can't quite put your finger on this person's emotions, this person's feelings. But I feel like there's an energy here of you see a future with this person. You see that you can be happy with this person. But there's so much challenges. Like this person doesn't make you feel like you're the one. They don't make you feel like you're not in competition with other people. I feel like this person, there's, there's an emotional tug of war with this person. But there's, there's, there's a soul contract between you and this person that's extremely challenging because this person is emotionally distant. But you see, sometimes this person makes you feel like you're the, you're the, you're the best thing ever. And then sometimes they make you doubt that. That's a big energy. That's definitely, definitely a big energy. Show me regrets, spirit. We have the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This person has a lot of regrets because you're looking good right now. Present moment. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy with the Ace of Cups. For some of you guys, you have somebody new in your life. For some of you guys, you're getting attention for some from somebody new. For some of you guys, you're talking to someone new. There's a lot of like talking. There's a lot of communication. And for some of you guys, this person is coming in hot to offer you, again, their cup of love. They're coming in hot for a new beginning. This is someone here that has some regrets. This is someone here that has some regrets. Show me sex. We have the three of pentacles. For some of you guys, you're in something third party. Yeah, ace of pentacles. And for some of you guys, somebody's financially taking care of you just for you to do this. Eight of wands communication. For some of you guys, somebody's going to offer you to take care of you as long as you don't leave them be. As long as you don't stop playing with them. I see communication coming in. For some, from somebody that ha that's somebody that's in something third party. Yeah, I see communication coming in. What does this person want to say? Let's see. What does this person want to say to my Virgo spirit? What does this person want to say to my Virgos? I hope that you can forgive me one day. I feel like this is how this person feels. Like this person hopes that one day you can forgive them for some of you guys. We have, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Because I feel like for some of you guys, the person that you were playing with was somebody here that you, you've been damaged by a past relationship that you, you never quite got over with. So you went from one relationship to a whole nother relationship when you weren't ready to be in a, in a relationship. That's what I'm getting in that energy. So it's like you heard some, you brought somebody else into your pain. And then we have, we need to let each other go. Somebody feels like you, you need to let each other go, but somebody, it's ha they're having a hard time doing that. And it says, I left you before you could leave me. So for some of you guys, this person, this person left you before you could leave them because they knew for some of you guys, this person knew that you were too good for them. Or this person was already fearful that you were going to leave them. And then it says, I hide who I really am from you. Like I'm, I'm getting, I'm definitely getting an energy for somebody here. Like somebody here is keeping secrets from you because they don't want you. They didn't want you to, or they don't want you to stop playing with them. Big energy. And it says, I don't react when people mention you. I feel like somebody here is trying to move forward in their life, but I feel like you're going to hear from this person no matter what. I feel like even if the relationship, even if it's not for a relationship, I feel like there's going to be some type of communication between you and this person because this person can't help but think. Sorry about that. I feel like this person can't help but think about this connection. 
I feel like this person can't help but think about you and about about things that have happened that has unfolded and I feel like even I feel like this person thinks a lot about contacting you I feel like this person thinks a lot about this connection and I feel like at some point in time, there is going to be some communication between you and this person. Now, this is the thing. The communication could be them communicating with you or the communication could be you yourself reaching out to this person. Because I do get that here in the energy as well, whereas some of you guys, you actually making taking that first step and actually reaching out to this person. That's a big energy as well. All right, my loves, if any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.